Hey, hey, wise. Lord, please, I pray for no technical difficulties tonight. Y'all probably like, Coach T, you here on a Friday night? Yes, I'm here on a Friday night. Hello. I had to readjust my schedule. And I think it's actually, hello, I was getting ready to say good morning. I'm so used to saying good morning. <laughs> um, I know, right? <laughs> I had to readjust my schedule. So I'm popping in on this evening. And I think it's a good thing because actually, um, November, I'm going to probably be changing my, my lives anyway. So, hello. Good evening. I wanted to pop in and do the live tonight that I usually do on Saturdays because I won't be here on Saturday. Good evening. Happy Self-Care Friday. Happy Self-Care Friday. Not going to keep y'all long at all. Because this Friday thing is not, you know, you know, Friday is usually Coach T's self-care day. Y'all see, I done took my, 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 my other hair out. So, <laughs> I am ready for relax mode. Um, I'm definitely ready for a relax mode. And I wanted to come on this evening and not, not give you guys a word at all. So, I decided to jump in on Friday. Um... And to go ahead and move forward. So happy self-care Friday, wise. Happy self-care Friday. Um, this week, I wanted to drop in tonight. I wanted to drop in tonight and share a quick word with wise um, on why she needs to heal. Why she needs to heal. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just say the the prayer real fast and do my little introduction so we can jump right into it because I don't want no troubles with the Instagram tonight. So, Father God, we bless your holy and mighty name, God. We thank you for your amazing grace and mercy, God. We welcome you now into this live session, God. Be a fence. Be a fence on this Friday evening. I'm not used to being here on Friday, Lord, so I just pray for your covering on this live, God. I pray, Lord, that you will... Um, let your message be plain and clear to the wife that be to receive this on this evening. And I pray, God, I pray in your son Jesus' name that the wife who needs to get this message, that she gets it, God. May there be no backlash, God. May you bring forth revelation and confirmation and clarity, God. And I pray, God, I ask that you cover this live in your son Jesus' precious blood. Amen, amen, amen. All righty, all righty. So listen, my name is Coach T. My name is Coach T. This light is real bright tonight, but it's dark. So I thought I will turn up the, the volume with the with the lighting. Um, and y'all probably don't recognize me with, with my hair is gone and all. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure um, that I had some good lighting for y'all. So my name is Coach T. I am a certified business mental uh, health wife coach and marriage consultant. I coach wives, I coach wives who are married to the toxic or unbelieving husband, to the toxic or unbeliever husband. I coach her um, in the areas of mental and emotional distress while being married to this type of husband. Um, the toxic behaviors related to adultery, abandonment, addiction. Um, this can also, this can also be for the wives. I have worked also with wives who um, have experienced these same types of toxic behaviors. And so I coach her as well. I also coach wives who are struggling, who are struggling with prioritizing her well-being, her self-care. And so I help her to change some of her behaviors in that area. I help her to uh, pay more attention to herself and focus more on herself. Um, help her to overcome some of her unhealthy choices that she's making um, and get off of that cycle of repeating, like repeating that same toxic, um, that same toxic uh, cycle. My areas of expertise is in the area of behavior health, marriage, and faith. 
This is not a ministry. This is a LLC. I just want to add that part in there because I think a lot of times people think because I talk about the gospel um, and that I mentioned Jesus and we talk we talk about the Bible um, that it's a ministry. It's not a ministry, but I do do ministry in my business. I do do ministry in my in my business. So um, you can also always support if you if you feel led to do so. You can definitely do that. So. Why does she need to heal? I'm going to just jump right on into it and just go for it, all right? Why do she need to heal? Why does she need to heal? Jeremiah 30, 17 says, But I will restore to you health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. But I will restore to you health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, all right? One of the reasons, and I'm going to share with you three, I'm going to share with you three, but one of the reasons that she needs to heal the wife is so she can get back into the right state of mind and begin taking the necessary steps to process through her marital journey in a healthy way. All right. This is one of the number one reasons why this wife needs to heal. She needs to heal so she can get back in the right state of mind because when you are dealing with uh, a toxic situation it is real easy it is real easy for your mind to go left all right real easy and so she needs to heal so she can get back into that right state of mind and begin taking the necessary steps to process through her marital journey in a healthy way all right in a healthy way a lot of people out here standing a lot of people out here um going through hard stuff and they're not doing it and they're not they're not processing through these things in a healthy way they're not processing through these things in a healthy way and so she needs to heal so she can process through some of these things in a healthy way all right hello and good evening hello all right so i'm going to give you three reasons i'm going to give you three reasons why it's so important for the wife to heal all right so the first reason she needs to heal the wife needs to heal so she can hear. The wife needs to heal so she can hear. I know y'all hear Coach T talking a lot of times. Hey, Miss Lady. I know y'all hear Coach T talking a lot of times, you know, why it is so important for wives to be able to hear from God on this marital journey. It is so important for wives to make sure that she can hear from God on this marital journey. I will not ever waver from that. I think it's in Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4 talks about, um, I think Paul was saying, um, make sure that you are teaching the people how to hear from God. Make sure that you are teaching the people how to hear from God. And so I think it's so very, very vital that wives understand on this journey, doing this stand, it is vital that you hear from God. So many wives are trying to do this stand without hearing from God. And a lot of times, um, if their mental is all discombobulated, if their emotions are all over the place, it is going to be hard for her to hear from God. All right. Um, you need to hear from God not only about your marriage, wife, but you need to hear from God concerning your life, concerning your life, concerning your children's life, concerning the welfare of your home, your business, your job. You need to be able to hear from God in every area of your life, not just concerning your marriage. All right. When you are in pain and your heart is aching and your heart is hurting and your feelings are all over the place, you have no peace, absolutely no peace. Your strength is depleted. It is going to be real, 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 real hard for you to hear from God properly. All right. It's going to be real, real hard. Good evening for you to hear from God properly. And so, as always, and like I said, I'm going to always tell wives to make sure that you hear from God, all right? Make sure that you hear from God because you will not be able to do this marital stand no other way. I always want to encourage wives, you have to tap into the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This is the only way this stand works, all right? It's, it's the only way this stand works, especially if you're trying to get the results that you are looking for, Okay? The second reason, the second reason the wife needs to heal is so that she can become in full harmony with her calling. All right. The second reason she needs to heal is so she can become in full harmony with her calling. Why? It does not 
do you any good to heal and jump right back into your marriage life as usual and you have no understanding of your calling or you have no idea what God has called you to or you are so far, 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 far away from your purpose and you have no idea what you're supposed to be doing. It does you no good to heal just to jump back into your marriage and do married life as usual. Okay, it does you no good. You need to get to know who you are. You need to get to know who you are. You need to understand your life. You need to know what, what God has purposed you for. You need to know what God is leading you to do. You need to know what your calling is. You need to kick in some of those uh, gifts and some of those talents and some of those passions and those things that God has given you. Um, and that you are 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 holding, or it's probably held, been held captive, held 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 um, dormant at this time. But you need to kick into that area. You need to kick into to that area. Maybe this was a step that was missed before marriage. Maybe there's something that you missed before marriage. Um, a lot of times, if a person don't know what they're supposed to be doing, you know, they don't they don't have a plan for their life. They don't really know, uh, you know, what's next. They kind of like just go along, you know, just go along to go along. Oh well, we you know we're gonna do this routine thing today. We're gonna you know we're gonna go to the movies tonight. Okay, it's it's date night tonight. All right, we, we're gonna take the kids to Universal Studios or you know, and you kind of get into the routine of things, living that lifestyle, and it's nothing wrong with living that lifestyle but you also need to know what it is that god has called you to purpose you for and what else you need to be doing here on earth all right i always try to express to wise that you have more than one assignment your marriage as his wife is one of your assignments that's one of your assignments but there are other earthly assignments that god has for you to do and this is one of the reasons why i feel like it's so important that wife needs to heal so she can get into a place and know what it is that she needs to be doing once you begin healing, you need to take out some time and get to know who you are. You need to do some things. You need to explore and you need to go after some of the things that you like. But more importantly, you need to seek out God's other earthly assignments for you. You're not just called to be his wife. Wife. It is a reason why God has called you to that. And a lot of times, why state the only reason that I'm supposed to be standing is I'm standing for my husband. When she has to understand this call has nothing to do with her husband, it has more to do with her and what God wants her to do. And this is such a big chunk um, uh, uh a place where a wife like fall short at. Um, I feel like this is a, a big chunk of where wives are missing it at um, because they're they're trying to heal, they're trying to get better so they can pray, learn this, learn that, and I'm going to jump back into my marriage. We're going to go ahead and do married life as usual. Okay. One of the things, one of the things I have noticed, one of the things I have noticed in my older age is that time goes by much much faster when you get older. <laughs> it goes by much faster. And too many people are taking advantage of their time by not being in alignment with God's plan for their life. Too many people are taking advantage of their time and they're not being in alignment with their assignment that God has for their life. So they are altering seasons and they're staying in, 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 in their standing seasons too long away past the time limit that God has for them. OK, they are altering seasons and, they, and they're staying in places way longer than they're supposed to be there. They should have long gone past and moved from that place. Um, but um, because she has no she has no plan, she has no idea what she's supposed to do. She's out here coasting it. All of a sudden, my marriage went love. I thought this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be a good wife, I'm supposed to be a good mother. I was doing that. And then all of a sudden, trials and tribulations came knocking at my door and now I don't even know who I am as a person. That is a problem, why? That is a problem, all right? So it is vital. It is vital for wives to get to a place where they can heal so that they can become in full harmony with their calling and what other earthly assignments that God has called her to, all right? Number three, number three. The third reason, the third reason that the wife needs to heal is she needs to heal so that she can help her husband. Wives need to heal so that she can help her husband. If she does not heal, she is not going to be any good to her husband. All right. 
I shared last week that wives were created, chosen, called to help her husband. All right. Wives were created, chosen, called to help her husband. And notice, notice that this is the third thing I placed on the list. I didn't put this at the top of the list. I didn't put this in the middle. I put this last. All right. I put this last. There's a specific reason for that. All right. I put this last because once again, wife, you will be no good. You will be no good to your husband if you're not healed and healthy yourself. You will be no good to your husband if you're not healed and healthy yourself. And you will not, you will not be successful at helping him or, or helping him um, um, in any type of spiritual warfare that he's going through, which a lot of times, most of the times, this is what's happening with husbands when they get to this place. You will not be able to fully help him in that spiritual fight because you are not properly healed and prepared yourself. In order for you to prepare for a spiritual fight, you got to first be healed. You got to you got to first be healed. You got to first be delivered from some things. You might walk up in that fight and they knock you out because you still dealing with some stuff, okay? You have to first be healed yourself. You're not going to be able to help your husband like you like you should actually be able to help him, all right? In my opinion, in my opinion, I feel like so many wives are losing their fights. I've said this multiple times. I feel like so many wives are losing their fights because they are not doing things in proper order, order, right? I feel like a lot of wives are losing a fight on this stand, on this standing journey because they're not doing things in proper order, all right? And the biggest thing of them all is they do not recognize, they do not recognize that their marriage injury, their marriage circumstance is not a natural fight. So many times wives are focusing only on the natural things. I've been on Facebook. He over there with that other woman. He living with that other woman. He sleeping with the other woman. He doing things with the other woman and her kids. He doing this. He doing that. They're so focused on the natural things. My husband ain't called today. He didn't check on the kids. My husband ain't, good Good evening. My husband didn't call me. He didn't check on the kids. He not paying child support. He not helping me with the household bills. My husband is drinking. My husband is staying out late. My husband not coming back home. My husband don't talk to me. My husband don't touch me. They're focusing so much on the natural. They're focused so much on the natural that they are unaware of the things that's taking place in the spirit realm. And you have to understand why this is where the enemy wants to keep you. He wants to keep you in that place where you're only focusing on the natural. Okay? Too many wives believe they too many wives believe they've heard from God to stand. I'm not taking that from you. I'm not taking that from you, okay? They got a word. They got a scripture. They got a dream. They got a, a prophetic word. They had a, a vision. Um, too many wives are, 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 are focused on only on that part when they don't even realize that that's, that's the invitation. That's the invite. <laughs> That's the, that's the, that's the, I welcome you in. I'm welcoming you in. Good evening. I'm welcoming you. I'm welcoming you over here. I'm giving you an opportunity to, to see if this is something that you really want to do. Okay. So when God gives you that word, when God gives you that, that instruction, like, Hey, you know what? I know this marriage is jacked up. I know your husband is all over the place, but I really want you to stand for this marriage. Whatever word he give you, whatever he used to get your attention, to invite you over that is just the, that's just what it is. It's an invitation. It's an invite. Okay. It's a, it's an invite. Um, what wives have to understand is, uh, you would, once God invites you over to, to, to this fight, to this battle, there is certain things and certain steps that you have to take to prepare yourself to be able to walk through this. Okay. There is a process that goes along with this. So the invite is, Hey, you know, your, your husband, he's, 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 he went, you know, loco. He done went love, but I'm asking you to stand. I'm asking you to do some things. All right. You can take this. We can walk this thing out, whatever, whatever. And why is usually from that place, they immediately go after praying for their husband. They immediately go after warfare for their husband. They immediately go after, you know, trying to be, you know, I'm standing for my marriage. I hear that all the time, you know. Well, I told my I told my husband I'm I'm standing for my marriage. I'm I'm standing for our marriage and you know, I just let him know that you know, you can't do these things and you know, God is watching you and some of these things that you are doing is, you know, it, God is not pleased with these things and they have no idea they are out of order. <laughs> 
They have no idea. They have wasted or altered their season by going after their marital stand that way. Okay? They become physically tired because the enemy is beating them down in the first part of the race. And the enemy is beating them down in the first part of the race because they are unaware of the order of how things go. Because they're out here doing this stand without no help. All right? And this is why I feel like wives who are standing for their marriage needs to be coach. Okay? I feel like wives who are standing, if you have received an invite from the Lord, if the Lord has given you a specific word to stand for your marriage, you need to be coached. However that looks for you, whatever coaching looks for you, you need someone to walk with you on that because a lot of wives are standing and missing certain things because they don't know what they are doing all right they don't know what they're they're doing so i always like to use the example of you know me working at a doctor's office all right um and so when i work at a doctor's office think about you know um a person who have been diagnosed with you know cancer a person has been diagnosed with cancer and that doctor who um is seeing that person um, let's just say they too have been diagnosed with cancer, you know, with, with breast, with breast cancer. I'm going to say I work in a woman's office, so I'm going to say with breast cancer. Right. And so this patient, like, you know, you have an option to see this doctor, you have an option to see this doctor, whatever. But this doctor who, you know, has had breast cancer is more relatable to the, to the patient. Now you have another doctor who has did their education, who has went to school, who has, you know, you know, got their degree and, you know, they know the signs and the symptoms. They can, you know, give you all the, the, the proper, um, stuff as far as, um, you know, what the, what the, the order of this is and, and what this disease is about. They can do those things. But I always, our eye would, would, would examine that and would look at that from a, from a picture of who would you really want to, be your doctor. A person who's just giving you the, you know, the book and giving these things. And give, and of course, they expertise. We don't want to eliminate those things. Or you want to get with the person who has been diagnosed themselves with this type of disease. And they are a doctor and they also have their expertise. Who would you want to be your doctor? Right? Who would you want to be your doctor? And this is the same thing I, 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 I say when it comes down to a wife and her hiring a wife coach. Um, many times I hear, you know, wives, you know, start out going to counselors and going to therapists and going to, you know, um, psychologists. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. They are skilled. They, they have their expertise. They go by the book. They ask the right, you know, they ask the right questions. They do all those things. They do all those things. But a lot of times, if those types, types of providers have not been through what you are going through, they would not really be beneficial for you on this stand. They really will not be beneficial for you on the stand. And this is why I always encourage wives. Yeah, you can see a counselor for certain things. You can see a therapist. You can, I'm not telling you not to. But what I am telling you is a wife coach is someone who has experienced the same symptoms as you, who knows exactly where you are on your stand, who can tell you exactly what you're going through, who can tell you what your husband is, you know, what your husband got going on. And, and... If she has been called by the Lord, she's going to guide you and direct you and give you sound counsel that is going to help you on your journey. All right. She's going to be the best fit for you. All right. She's going to be the best fit for you. And wives have to make a decision when it comes down to that. Where do you want to receive your help from? I know money comes up a lot of times and a lot of people saying, you know, well, you know, counseling, I can get that, you know, through my job, you know, my job, pay for certain sessions. But when it comes down to this type of commitment wise, when it comes down to this type of call, a wife really have to make a decision to dig deep. All right. She really had to make a decision to dig deep. So I always try to encourage wives, don't do this stand alone. Do not do this stand alone. It is imperative. It is imperative that number one, wives heal so they can hear from God. Wives heal so they can hear from God. Number two, wives need to heal so they can become in harmony with their calling. You're not just out here standing for your marriage only. If God invited you to this stand, he invited you to this stand with in return, you're going to stand and do something for the kingdom as well. All right. 
And then number three, wives need to heal so that she will be able to help her husband. If she's not healed, she will not be any good to her husband. She will not be any good to her husband. So, of course, always, I always try to invite wives, you know, to sign up for a consultation. Sign up for their wife consultation if you are experiencing these things, if you are going through some of these things. And then, of course, her buoyancy boost is always... um you know, a follow up through that bonus boost is bonus boost is helping you do your work. Okay, that's a, that's that's you doing your work part. But but recently, recently, um, I've been speaking to a lot of wives who are just starting, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video because a lot of these wives are just now starting in their stand. A lot of these wives are just now, you know, getting, you know, getting getting started on their journey. Um and they they're out here and they don't they don't really know how what to do and how and how to handle these things. All right. And so um for the remaining month of October, all the way up until January, the end of January of 2023, um I will be offering 30 days of grief coaching to wives. I'll be offering 30 days of grief coaching to wives who are still transitioning through some of their shock, some of their pain, some of their discomfort, some of their um, marriage circumstances that they're dealing with. I want to help these wives. I want to help these wives, all right? Um, these sessions are great for new standards, new wives who are, you know, not familiar with what's going on on this journey, don't really know, you know, how to how to do this the, the right way, um, don't want to alter any seasons, don't want to, you know, have to um, be starting over, falling, getting up, falling, getting up. So this is a this is a really, really good opportunity for new wives who are um, just not starting to stand. It's also good for the wives whose husband, maybe he just left recently, like a couple of days, all the way up until a year. I would say a couple of days up into a year. So if this husband has, you know, recently been at the house three months, six months, you know, four months, um, this will be a great place because a lot of times wives in in this on this uh at this place, they are still in a in a place of shock and they're still grieving and they're still trying to get through their emotions. They're not thinking about doing the work. They're not thinking about their calling. <laughs> They're not thinking about their purpose. They're not thinking about, okay, I need to, you know, go and really start, you know, seeing what my other assignments. They're thinking about their husbands, okay? <laughs> They're thinking about their husbands. They're thinking about their marriage. They're thinking about, you know, what's going on? What happened? How did I get here? I thought God said this. I thought I was hearing this from God. I'm not sure. We Christians, we, you know, we, we, we got married in the church. He grew up in the church. He's not acting, you know, acting himself. This is not his type of behavior, all those types of different questions that come up, all those different types of questions that come up, these sessions are for you, okay? This is not her buoyancy boost. Like I said, her buoyancy boost is your work. It, that we do your work in her buoyancy boost. I always tell wives, her buoyancy boost is not for you to sign up and say, okay, we're going to talk about your husband because her buoyancy boost is for the wife. It is for the wife. But I have opened a, another avenue. I have opened another avenue because I have come in contact with so many wives, with so many wives who are not ready to do their work. They're not ready to do their work, and I'm trying to meet them halfway. I want to. I want to be able to meet them halfway. So it is not her buoyancy boost, but it's definitely an opportunity for wives to receive ongoing coaching and consulting. All right, I call it coach Salton. Coach Salton. All right, you can receive this help for thirty days. Um, and for the next three months, for the next three months, you can receive the session at a discounted price and get grandfather in. And I say grandfather in, meaning you will be able to have the price. If you need to take these sessions over and over again, if you feel like, oh, Koshi, I'm still going through this cycle. I'm still going through my, you know, my grief. I'm still dealing with depression. I'm still dealing with sadness. I'm still dealing with, you know, bargaining. I'm still dealing with, you know, anger. I need to take this, you know, this course again. You can take it over and over again as many times as you need with the discounted price. Um, if you sign up before January 2023, all right? Um, and so you will receive um, four 60-minute sessions, four 60-minute sessions, along with weekly check-ins, um, your homework assignments, 24-7 email access to me, and weekly detailed summary of your sessions, your goals, and your next steps, all right? Um, like I said, these sessions will help wise. These sessions will help wise work through their mental and emotional agony and their distress. This will help wise to um, 
get through and process and labor through some of the things that she is uh, going through emotionally, um, mentally in a healthy way. You know, we kind of, we'll walk through that, through that part with you. Um, it also helped the wife to understand her husband's unhealthy position and unhealthy choices, not only from a natural standpoint, but from a spiritual standpoint, because for me, for Coach T, it is so important for wives to understand the spiritual side of this fight. And I feel like so many wives are missing it. They are dropping the ball. They are missing it because they are not aware of the spiritual side. You see him, why he can't just stop talking to this woman. Why he can't just come home. Why he can't just do the right thing. He cannot. He is spiritually blind. He possibly have some type of witchcraft or uh, 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 attack over him. He may have a love spell on him. He he's dealing with several different things. He's dealing with several different things, and a lot of times he may it may be some type of um, uh, generational curse. It may be something dealing with you know uh, family family wickedness. Uh, somebody probably putting word curses on him. You don't know what he's dealing with. You don't know what he's dealing with. And so a lot of times I try to really try to help wife to understand not only the natural side of it i try to help her to understand the spiritual side of it your husband didn't just one day decide okay i'm gonna pick up and leave my family my wife and kids in my home and move in with another lady that's not how that goes something happened something happened all right and so um a lot of wives have questions about this they have questions about this and so i would try to i like to try to help wives walk through this process and help them to understand what's going on with him <laughs> he didn't just he didn't just oh i just arrived no something happened he got himself into he he had open room he, he had a door opener for the enemy to come in and have this kind of and, and gain this type of access something happened that led up to this he didn't just all all of a sudden oh well, all men cheat oh all men you know sleep around oh you know marriage have a bad name for itself marriage have a bad rep for itself no something happened <laughs> okay something something happened all right and so I try to help wives to understand where her husband is on, on this journey. I, I A lot of times I talk to these wives and I can tell her and right just from talking to her, your husband, he's coming back home. <laughs> you know, he's he's coming back home. He'll be he'll be back. You know, he'll he'll be back home. He may not stay home, but he's coming back. Or I can tell her, no, he, he might be out there for a minute. It might not happen right away, you know? So I try to see what she has going on so I can walk with her um through some of these through some of these steps, okay? Um, and then we also we will also examine and monitor the wife weekly grief journey and see where she is. Is she still dealing with anger? Is she still dealing with depression? Okay. Um, we will walk through that those those five steps. Okay. So it gives you an opportunity to, like I said, get grandfather in with the set price. Um, this was something I was going to do in, in in February. I was going to do a VIP day. Um, but after speaking to so many wives who are just not starting out. And with the holidays right around the corner, I feel like this is something that we need to get on top of right now. So this is um, something I am offering my wife. Like I said, new time standards. Like you, you just not started. Your husband may be in the home and acting a fool or he may be just left the home and acting a fool. Okay. And you're trying to figure out what you did, what you do, what happened, why he acting like this all of a sudden. You're trying to figure out exactly where you are. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to sign up for your grief wife consultation. All right. At www.marriagechroniclesbytanika.com. It is so, 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 so very important. Why for you to get the necessary help that you need to get. Don't let the new year come in and you stand in the same spot. Don't let the new year come in and oh well he called me today oh well we had sex last night oh well you know he he bought the kids some toys today oh well you know everything all right today don't get caught up in that guys don't get caught up in that these men are dealing with all types of stuff they are dealing with all types of stuff and it's so very important that wives get the necessary help i also want to just throw out there that i still do have prayer shawls available for the wives who want to purchase their prayer shawls through uh you know through buoyancy like i said i do not pray over your prayer shawls um, I do not pray over your oil. I, that is reserved for the wife. I feel like that's a sacred area and that should be reserved for the wife. But if you want to purchase your prayer shawls through, um, coach T, you can. And then I also did get some more hoodies if for the ones who are interested in getting, um, the, his wife, uh, hoodies. Okay. You can reach me. And on my website, just send me a, a message. Let me know what you want to do. And I will contact you. I always tell wives, I don't, I don't share like links for um 
um, for you to purchase things with all the scams and different things going on. I don't do that kind of stuff. I try to make sure that I contact the wife myself first and then send her an invoice. So if you didn't get an invoice from Coach T or you didn't hear from Coach T, then it ain't Coach T, okay? <laughs> it ain't Coach T. So I just want to just throw that part out there. But I also want to just encourage you guys, listen, make sure that you are prioritizing yourselves. Make sure that you are taking care of yourselves in this hour, guys. Make sure that you are doing something that you enjoy doing. Make sure that you seek out the necessary help that you need to get through this process in a healthy way. The enemy hates you. The enemy hates you. The enemy hates you. <laughs> okay? Your husband, he that that that's 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 one thing. The enemy is coming for you, why? He's coming for you because you are the one. You are those you are the one who's supposed to crush his head. You are the one who's coming for him. And if he can keep you in that emotional, unhealthy, mental mental place, if he can keep you down, if he can keep you drained, if he can keep you frustrated, if he can keep you angry, if he can keep you, you know, not praying, if he can keep you from not getting the necessary help. Oh, I don't have no money. Oh, I don't have no money. If that's going to be your excuse every time the enemy is winning, he is winning. You need to pursue God and see how it is that he wants you to do this journey moving forward. Don't get on this journey. Go months and months and years and years doing things the wrong way, thinking that this is how I'm supposed to do this and you doing it wrong when it's help available for you. All right. Sign up for your consultation today, www.marriagechroniclesbytanika.com. Listen, I'm going to see y'all sometime during the week. I don't I don't know I'm going to pop back in, but for the next two Saturdays, I know I won't be on, but I will pop back in um, sometime next week. But you guys can always reach me at my website. If you have any questions, if you're on my Instagram, you can always send me a DM. I'm on here constantly. All right? Y'all have an awesome, awesome self-care Friday, and I will talk to you soon. Blessings.